In Exodus 2, we read about Moses' mother. And we read about how she strategically hid Moses, how she strategically ensured that Moses was secure, that Moses made it to his destiny. We read about a strategic woman. A lot of times when we read the book of Exodus, you know, we focus a lot on Moses. And yes, Moses did great things. And yes, Moses is a great elder. And yes, Moses heard from God. And yes, Moses was anointed. But Moses' mother, if it had not been for her strategic approach, for her hiding him, for her covering him, for her um, putting him in the basket and making sure that he was, he, he, he was sent into his destiny, then Moses wouldn't be the deliverer that we know him to be today. So today I want to look at Exodus, but not highlighting Moses, but highlighting his mother. Exodus 2 verse 1. Now a man of the tribe of Levi married a Levite woman, and she became pregnant and gave son gave birth to a son. When she saw that he was fine, when she saw that he was a fine child, she hid him for three months. And we know around this time that the king had um, put out a death sentence for the firstborn, and Moses happened to be a firstborn. So um, this is why she had to hide him. But what I found that was powerful was just that she did not just hit him, but she hit him for three months, three months. So we know that if the king has a death sentence out, his guards are out searching the town, searching homes, um, sending spies, collecting letters. But somehow she was successful and strategic to, 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 um, to hide him for three months from a king's soldiers, from, from the king's eyes, from the king's spies. From, from the king's surveillance. She was able to hide her son for three months. I could only imagine that she had a team of people working with her, somebody on the lookout, somebody in the, the lookout in the morning, somebody to look out in the afternoon, somebody to look at the night. I'm sure she had a team. She was strategic. And, when, and, and then verse three says, but when she could, when she could hit, when she could hide him no longer, she got a pap, um, a, a papyrus basket for him and she coated it with tar and, and pitch so she didn't just only get a basket for her son but she made sure she protected it she made sure she coated it she covered the basket mothers cover their son especially when sending them into destiny especially sending them into in, in, into life's journey mother cover their son then she placed the child in it and put it among the, the reeds again she hid him so even after she put him in the basket she put it among the reeds so she was still hiding her son hmm. Along the river bank of Nile. If you know, well, if we know history, Nile River Bank was a very resourceful, a very resourceful river bank. There was civilization built by, uh, along the bank of Nile. So she put him in a resourceful place. She had to let him go, but she put him in a resourceful place. She was strategic. She was strategic. And I hear the word of the Lord said in 2022, He's given strategies to mothers. Strategies is coming into the homes of mothers. Strategies on how to hide your child from the enemy, how to cover them in reed, how to hit them in the basket, and how to coat the basket with tar and pitch. The Lord is giving strategies to mothers in 2022. I encourage mothers to draw close, to draw near to God because he's going to be speaking directly to mothers. He's going to be speaking to them. He's going to send strategies for you to cover your children, for you to hide your children. The Lord is not only sending strategies, he's also sending reinforcements. As I told you, in order for Moses' mother to successfully hide her son for three months from the king's eyes, the king's surveillance, she had to have a support system. The Lord is sending support system in 2022 to the homes of mothers to help them raise up their children. I see churches playing more practical role in the lives of mothers when it comes to raising their children. The Lord said, I am building and I'm sending a 
village to mothers. Mothers are receiving support and they're receiving strategies in 2022. Not only in how to navigate motherhood, not only in how to navigate life, but on how to raise their children. Ah, man, do do boko, shalaman si ande de bo the Lord is opening the eyes of mothers in 2022. Ah, he's making them more um, keen. He's making them more strategic. Ah, Lord. Mm. For the Lord has seen how mothers have stand in the gap for their children, have raged war for their children, but he has also seen how they have grown weary because of the consistent battle on behalf of their children, on behalf of their family. Ah, I see a blueprint coming down from heaven. Mothers are getting blueprint. Mothers are getting blueprint in 2022 is the year, is the year of fortifying motherhood. The Lord is fortifying motherhood. He's fortifying family in general, but he's fortifying motherhood. He's fortifying the strength of mothers. He's fortifying the mind of mother. Don't lose hope, mothers. In 2022, your Calvary is coming. Your reinforcement is coming. Your strategy is coming. Your blueprint. Oh, my Stand your ground, mothers. For in 2022, you will stand on the strategies of God for your family, for your children. <laughs> Get ready, mothers. For the hand of the Lord is shifting in your direction. And He's coming with favor. 